so this is going to be a two-part uh, video series and this is going to be on the first video I'll go over some of the uh, half of the construction and the second part I'll go over the second half of the construction just, uh, you can buy a uh, just a basic standard uh, aquarium for about uh, fourteen dollars and this is basically a uh, variation to a lid cover design um, from uh, Tarantula Guy 1976 uh, Rob C what I want to do is make a, uh, a lid cover for uh, the aquarium and so what I do is buy some um, like an Opti, Opti optics uh, acrylic sheet and these acrylic sheets that you purchase have a, a, a thin protective film uh, to prevent it from getting scratched up so during the construction of this uh, lid, what I would do is keep that uh, film on until it's uh, ready to be assembled, then remove it at that time. So one of the tools that I use is a carpenter's ruler, and this is good for like measuring uh, your, and then actually, and then uh, what I use is a, as a black marker, and actually use it to mark the, the acrylic sheet because it has that uh, protective film on it. Another uh, tool that I use is uh, or purchased is a, a few of these. Uh, uh, they're kind of uh, vices and clamps, and I utilize these to hold down the ruler and uh, to the acrylic sheet, and then to the actual workbench. And I have some um, smaller clamps that I can use um, in other areas if I need to. Now this is a kind of a little. Um, scoring blade that you buy and they should have these in the, the acrylic section uh, of where you actually buy the acrylic sheet and this is what I, this is what I'll use to actually score the acrylic sheet so what I would do is actually clamp the the ruler um, to and the acrylic and then the workbench to uh, all together so that way when I score it um, you pretty much have a stable uh, work environment to work with. What I would do is mark the mark the individual piece where I'm actually going to uh, put the venting holes, and once I get an area of how uh, where I want the venting holes um, then I'll pre-drill it with um, with a hole saw and uh, basically the hole saw attaches to your drill you can either buy them in a like the particular um, vents I'm going to be using are three inch vents so uh, what I did was purchased a, uh, a set of the hole saw and then I'm using the actual three inch hole saw and this is what I'll use to, to, to drill through the acrylic sheet for uh, to attach the, the vent. After uh, drilling through it, you notice that the, the high friction of the hole saw will cause a little bit of the debris to, uh, to harden on the edge. So I just use a, uh, I actually, I actually use a file with, um, and the, the file that I use is, is, has both a rounded edge and a flat edge as well. Um, the, the file that I have here will be um, well, use actually the round and the flat side for this project. Now, the round part of the file saw I would use to, after removing the uh, the extra debris, I would uh, use the, the round part of this to actually kind of file it down a little bit. So I'm trying. This is actually going to be a two-part lid cover, where one part would be a stable, and the other part would be um, um, for the door or the access inside the cage. As I'm doing some final sanding, I'll, I'll t um, checking and periodically checking the the lid covers to make sure it's a, it's a good tight fit.